In this video, we're doing definition of the derivative, what I call AP style. That's the more likely way they're going to ask definition of the derivative on the AP exam. So let's remember that the definition of the derivative is one of the big ideas. It's the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And that's discussed further in another video. So the most likely way they're going to ask a question like this is to go ahead and set up like example 1. So the first thing you have to do is recognize that it's in the format of the definition of the derivative. So you have to think of this as saying, take the derivative of something. Now we need to know what that something is. Let's look at the front part of the definition of the derivative, f of x plus h. Try not to look at the back, because this negative will cause you pain and suffering at some point. So if we look at the front, that's the place that has the h's. So we only look at the place that has h's. First of all, we know h is going to go to 0. So let's go ahead and dump the h's. And if we stare at what's left, we have 2x squared minus 3x. So we're simply taking the derivative of that, which would be 4x minus 3, all done. Let's try that again. So in example two, we recognize clearly this is the definition of the derivative. We're going to look in the front where the h's are. h's are going to zero, so we can go ahead and dump the h's. And this problem really means take the derivative of, and that would be 4x cubed plus 2x. Well, the derivative of that would be 12x squared plus 2 and we're all done. Now, this example shows you the danger of looking in the back versus looking in the front. Notice the parentheses were dropped in the back term, which means the negative was distributed. If you look in the back, you're going to be tempted to use that negative instead of the positive you should have. So again, I suggest to look in the front. In example three, we have a similar situation, only now it's not just take the derivative of a function, it's take the derivative then plug in. So uh, let's take a look again at the front where the h's are. The h is going to go to zero. Now notice what we've got there. We've got five something cubed, and somebody's plugged in a one there. Well, I'm going to pretend that it's just x. So my function, f of x, is 5x cubed. What this question really is asking is find f prime of 1. Well, the derivative, f prime of x, would be 15x squared. And then f prime of 1 would simply be 15. So again, when you see a number instead of an x, that means you need to plug in that number after the derivative. And you want to think of that number temporarily as an x. Let's do that one more time. So again, we're looking in the front where the h's are. Notice if we try to look in the back, this 10 isn't really going to help us very much. So again, we pretend the h's go to 0. We notice that we're plugging in a 2, so the question is really find f prime of 2. So we want to figure out what the original function was. So let's pretend that the 2's are x's. If I pretend that this 2 is an x, and I pretend that this 2 is also an x, then my original function is 4x squared minus 3x. All right, so let's take the derivative of that. The derivative, f prime of x, would be 8x minus 3. Now we want f prime of 2, which would be 16 minus 3, or 13. 